WKBN is your local election headquarters, and we are committed to bringing you the most complete coverage. Today, I am talking to Democrat Preston Nori, who is running against Republican Mike Kelly for the seat in the U.S. House of Representatives to represent Pennsylvania's 16th district. Thank you so much for joining us, Preston. Thanks so much for having me. So first off, why do you want to run? Genuinely, I mean, up and down this district here in western Pennsylvania, and I mean Ohio and throughout the entirety of the Rust Belt, we've seen the same thing happen. We've seen industry, we've seen manufacturing leave this area, and when it comes for a future for everybody, it seems that a lot of folks are left behind. In my district in particular, the 16501, five minutes away from where I live, is the poorest zip code in the entire United States. Median salary last year was $8,000 a year. And when we're talking about the future of Western Pennsylvania, the future of this area in particular, it comes through real results. I've worked at the Pentagon, I've worked at the State Department, worked on the Hill, and push comes to shove. I want to make sure that I'm able to utilize my experience there to make sure that we can have some real results come back home. And what do you bring to this race in terms of your experience and your background? So I've worked in uh, the Department of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment. I've worked in their Legislative Congressional Oversight Office, uh, appropriated out trillions of dollars, got to see re really what's happening at the ground level. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, we have an opportunity to bring back money with the CHIPS Act, with some of these other acts that have been passed, and making sure that we have an advocate who can really go to the appropriations table Tell them, hey, I need this money to make sure that, you know, the, st the folks at the state level and the local level are able to make sure that where the rubber hits the road, we actually see some results. And what do you see as the biggest challenge should you be elected? So the biggest challenge that I will say is honestly the division that we're seeing here in this country. I mean, political division I don't think has ever been higher just in years. And I mean, when we're seeing just some of the divisive ads that we see, especially during this season here, we need to make sure that regardless of we're Republicans, Democrats, independents here, we all got to come together. Our kids are going to the same schools. We're, all of us are going to the same hospitals. We all got to live here and make this economy the best economy that we can. And when we want to make sure that, you know, we try to overcome that division, I know a lot of people here might have like, oh, a knee-jerk reaction here or some kind of bias, but what it comes down to is we're all Americans, and once we're able to overcome that initial hurdle here, we're going to have an incredibly bright future ahead of us. And how do you separate yourself from your opponent? So me and my opponent here, um, you know, I a, grew up in a working family. Uh, my folks came here from uh, overseas, first-generation American. Um, got a chance to go to college, been born and raised, was working at 11 years old, flipping houses with my family, got my first jobs on the books at 15. You know, uh, my opponent here is the uh, received franchises, is a multimillionaire, uh, has been here for the last 12 years, and quite frankly, Western Pennsylvania just doesn't have the results to show for it. I want to separate myself by making sure that people here in this district understand that they have somebody who is like them, who understands their struggles, who understands what it's like to pay the light bill, and to make sure that we can bring some jobs, some opportunities, make sure health care is more affordable, accessible, and try to make sure that we can really lean into what our opportunities are. You know, my opponent wants to privatize Medicare, raise the age of Social Security, and have $5.5 trillion in tax breaks for the 1%. That's not a future here for Western Pennsylvania, for Ohio, or anybody, quite frankly. We need to have somebody who's going to be able to understand the struggles that people are facing. Inflation and costs have decimated families. We need to make sure that we have a real representative who understands what that means. Awesome. Preston, thank you so much for joining us today. We will continue to follow this race through the November election. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.